other day a younger fellow asked me how to go about picking a good trucking company to work for. I don't know if I'd be the best guy to ask for that. I've had, I've worked for relatively few trucking companies in, in my 35 plus years, which, you know, to some extent has been good luck because I've landed in the right, right operations. I've worked for one monstrous trucking company that proved to be a mistake for me. I found out that I truly was just a number when I phoned in in the morning and and for the most part the recruiter had led me down the garden path. The miles weren't there they promised and, and I found I didn't en enjoy working for a super huge company that I was I was simply a number. I worked for a few medium-sized trucking companies in my time and I found that they were generally a better deal. I, I found that they paid a little better Generally, you could uh, you could speak to the owner. The owner knew who you were, knew your name. I, I like companies that know who you are, and the owner recognized you as a as an asset to his business, and it was it was his money that was paying your wage. So he tended to pay attention to those type of things, and and he knew who was good for his business. Unlike dealing with a dispatcher, for instance, that sees you only as as someone to be used. You're not a business asset, you're just a tool. Uh, a few of the smaller trucking companies pay good money as well, but sometimes the disadvantage with them is that they have very few assets. So when it comes time for you to take a break or you want to go home or there's a load you don't want to do, they're relying on you because they've got nobody else. So you get forced into the work that they need you to do, whether it's going to work out for you or not. And that's, that's not always a good thing. I tend to look for companies that have good and well-maintained equipment because A, that's an indication of a priority to them to have good equipment, and B, it's an indicator as to how they treat their people because they're not expecting you to fix their junk on the side of the road. The stuff's maintained, it's not gonna be a problem for you. If I'm looking for a company to work for, I look for a company that runs in the areas that I like to travel in, that I like to run in. It's, it's fine to find a carrier that pays great money for peddling LTL in New York City, but if you simply can't stand going to New York City, you're not going to last at that carrier very long. But if you enjoy the work, you'll, you'll stay and you'll profit. So I look for carriers that work in the areas that I like to work in and that I'm comfortable in. And finally, I like to be treated as a person and not a tool. So I won't work for any company that talks down to their drivers. And frankly, you don't need to work for a company that does because companies these days need you worse than you need them. So don't accept being treated like an animal or like a second class citizen because you don't have to.